All right, guys. So here we have a perfect example of why you always double check your camera settings before you start filming. So I accidentally filmed my entire intro sequence here in slow motion without audio. So enjoy this slow motion footage of me talking to you while I talk to you. So all I was doing here was just explaining what had happened during my prop strike. So if you didn't see that video, I'll put a link above right here. Um, but this is the piece that came off while I was flying. So I was replacing the pull starter. Um, that pulley that you see there, that red pulley was damaged, I believe from the factory. And I had removed the pull starter and just tied it off to one of the spars uh, while I was flying. What I didn't know was that the pull starter tension on that pulley is what holds that bar down and prevents it from vibrating up and going through the prop, which is what it did. So I've since solved that problem. I put a little bit of tape on the spar, prevents it from riding up. And in this video, I'm going to take you guys through step by step what I do to fix a carbon fiber prop. All right, here we go. Okay, so here is the damage to the prop. So this piece here, again, not this piece, but this came off and I'm assuming it struck it pretty much just like that. Might have gone in like that, I'm not sure, but it's a round aluminum tube. So luckily it actually shoved the piece of carbon fiber into the prop. So the balance never changed. When this broke, I didn't feel any vibration, nothing. Um, and it's far enough inboard that I don't think it's gonna be structurally too much of a deal. This I can definitely repair, and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is take this piece of carbon fiber out, refill that with foam. I'm gonna hollow out all the old foam, refill that with foam, I'm gonna find some, probably take it out of an old E-prop that I broke, put that piece back on, Q-bond it, sand it, make it look nice as possible, and uh, we'll go from there, so let's get started. So there's the piece of carbon fiber that I'm going to save. And that's the damage. So you can see the foam inside there. Got a pretty good look at it. it looks to be damaged. I got to see if super glue is going to eat that foam away. Super glue um, melts certain foam. So definitely going to check that first. It doesn't appear to melt the foam. This is a piece of foam that fell out. Fingers are stuck together now, but the foam did not melt. So that's good news. So we can get super glue all in there and it's not gonna cause any issues. So when carbon fiber breaks, the uh, fibers splinter along the fracture surface. So when you go to put the two surfaces back together, they don't lay flat anymore because those fibers are really small and they don't, they don't mesh back together. So you actually have to cut those off and you kind of make it like a bigger groove so that you can fit the cube on in it. So that's all I'm doing right here. The next thing I needed to do was find something to fill that hole with. So I had an old prop laying around. This is the prop that was on my Scout when I crashed it. So I just hollowed out the same uh, area on this prop as the, area, the broken area on the busted prop. And I took the foam out of there and shoved it in that hole. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then the last step before Q-Bond was just to replace that piece of carbon fiber that fell off. So I'm gluing that back in right here. And after that, I just started adding a little bit of super glue and a little bit of Q-Bond, a little bit of super glue, a little bit of Q-Bond until all the holes were filled and I had a nice proud surface, something that I could grind away and sand and make look nice later. Okay, so this is the first application of Q-Bond. So I ended up using only the first layer of carbon fiber that I recovered from it, and I don't know where the other one is. Here it is. This is the outer layer. The two layers separated when um, when it broke, so I didn't end up using this because I didn't want this coming loose. It was have, I was having a hard time um, gluing them together. But anyways, so this is the first layer of Cubans. This stuff's magical, man. You basically, just put a little bit in and keep filling until all your holes are filled. This is really rough right now. And it's not. Doesn't look good. Nothing like that. But what I'm gonna do is um, grind it down, sand it down, and then put another layer of Cubon, grind it down, sand it down, and then you can wet sand this and make it look halfway decent. So, so far it's working out. Okay, so I'm getting it fairly close. 
I can see where the low spots are. I got a low spot here and a low spot there, so I'm gonna fill those up. So spread that out in that hole. Take your Cubon super glue and just drip it on and watch what happens. Okay, it immediately spreads out and soaks in and that's already rock hard. So except for that little bit that overflowed there, dab that away and you can see that's ready to, it gets hard immediately. This stuff's amazing. Okay, there you go. So I've got it patched and pretty smooth just with the file. The rest I'm gonna do with sandpaper and I'm gonna go and wet sand it and try to make it look nice. I'm even gonna buff it eventually, but I think you could fly it at this point. Cubon, man, amazing. That stuff, it's rock hard, man. I, Pretty happy with that, pretty happy. And you could polish this up really nice and it'll just be a nice black um, spot that barely be noticeable if you want it to look nice. So I'll get a couple rounds of sanding done and then I'm gonna buff it at a later date, but there you go. Okay, got some sandpaper. Start at 220, go to three, and then 400. And at the 400 point, I'm gonna wet it and get a sanding block. Um, get it as close to polish as possible. So this should also be a good point to tape off whatever you don't want to get ruined, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm an idiot, so. All right, so I am really happy with that. That's almost perfectly level. It's not smooth yet, still have to wet sand and everything, but I don't know how well the GoPro's showing it, but you can kind of see where the Q-Bond is. And um, it's, it's, it's almost perfectly blended. So it'll be, it'll be perfect once I, once I wet sand it. So I'm also gonna sand off all this and I'm gonna buff the whole thing, but looks good. You could fly that if you wanted to. So it's only like, like a few seconds of wet sand, you can already see how much better it looks. And it's, it is perfectly smooth, man. Really good. All right guys, that is fully repaired. You can see it needs to be buffed. Once you buff this, it's gonna be, nice. this will be nice and shiny again. You won't even see that. This is just the super glue that ran down. And then once you buff this, this will be a shiny black and this will be um, uh, back to that shiny carbon fiber um, finish that the prop was. So that is gonna be it. I'm gonna throw my extra prop on because this is gonna need to be balanced. There's a lot of Q bond in that. So I am gonna balance this, but I'm just going to put clear coat on the other prop until it's finally balanced. But I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, if you guys do have prop damage similar to this, um, Q bond is an awesome solution. Just make sure you guys clean up the surface, get rid of all the excess carbon fiber, anything that's sticking up that, so you can sand this smooth. I had a lot of success with Q-Bond rebuilding my um, Scout, but there you have it guys. Prop repaired. Ah, see you guys in the next one. All right, so here's some pictures of the final product. Um, I'm mostly happy with the way it turned out. The only thing I would change is I used um, like spray paint clear coat for this ended up looking nice but I have a feeling it's not going to be as durable as something like an epoxy clear coat so if you guys have any recommendations on like a hard epoxy clear coat something that maybe is our, comes in a rattle can uh, comment down below because I'd be interested all right thanks for watching guys like subscribe Instagram all that jazz see ya peace